Now that we've defined the mesh, we'll start setting up the physical problem. We'll start by selecting the material properties for the stent and the balloon. So we'll go under stent, and then assignment, structural steel, which is what we want. This is the default. And then we'll go under balloon, assignment, we'll click and change to balloon. So now the stent has the bilinear isotropic hardening property that we put in before and the balloon is set as a Mooney Rivlin plastic. Now using connections we can start editing the way that the interface between the balloon and the scent are going to interact. So we can go under connections and under contacts there will be an automatically generated contact region. Now you can either edit this one or create your own by just deleting this one then insert manual contact region. Here, we'll start by selecting the, the contact and the target surfaces. So the contact will select to be the bottom surface of the stent. So you just select through the balloon face and select the bottom surface. And hit apply. And then the target will be the top face of the balloon. So just select the top face and hit apply. Next, we'll define the type of contact that this is. So the type will go from bonded to frictionless. We'll say that the behavior is asymmetric. Under formulation, we'll select augmented Lagrange. Detection method will be nodal projected no, normal from contact. And then we'll set a penetration tolerance ourselves. That way there's no pen or little penetration within the contact. And we can set this to 0.001. The normal stiffness will select manual. We'll set the factor to 1 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then we'll update stiffness each iteration. And then under interface treatment, we'll select adjust a touch. And this will define the contact region for the type of problem that we have.